it's a bodybuilder. Well, I ain't a bodybuilder, soccer. I'm gonna write you off. A collision between two of boxing's most elite, as one final showdown stands in the way of crowning an undisputed heavyweight king. This is the biggest fight of the century. This is the biggest fight of the history in heavyweight. A six foot nine physically gifted titan who's overcome every challenge he's ever faced. There's only one man in the heavyweight division and you're looking at him. I'm the dauntless in the waters. I am man and I can't be beat. Versus an exceptional road warrior and a true master of his craft. This is the guy that people are now saying is the pound for pound best fighter in the world. Both, they're both tremendous fighters. I'm not sure anyone can beat Alexander Usyk. You know, Tyson Fury's a clever man. He had the chance to fight him. He chose not to. I'm a two-time world champion and he's a two-time world champion in two different weights. So I can do whatever he can do as good as he can do it. There's one belt that you still do not have. It's occupied at the moment by Tyson Fury. Do you want that WBC belt next? I'm sure, I'm convinced he wants to fight me. I want to fight him. And if I'm not fighting Tyson Fury, I'm not fighting at all. I'm coming for the little sausage, rabbit. Run, rabbit, run. What fight do you want to see at the top end of the division? And who, in your opinion, is the best at the top end of the division? I think Usyk, for me, is the best. Um, he's above Tyson wow. Fury. Yeah. I have a lot of admiration for the, the sweet science as well of him and the way he clinically deals with people. We have to know, is Usyk that good that he could, uh, that he could bamboozle Tyson Fury? Let's find out. As a former undisputed cruiserweight champion, who now holds three of the four heavyweight world titles, Oleksandr Usyk has so far built himself one of the greatest resumes in modern day boxing. I've always knew Usyk was the real deal. He's a good fighter, Usyk. He's a quality operator. This guy can box in his sleep. You know, he's, he's born, bred to fight this Usyk. So he's as real as he gets. He's a proper fighter in my eyes. And now, as he approaches the closing end of a stellar career, the Ukrainian plans to secure his name in the history books and become the first heavyweight in over 20 years to claim every belt for himself. No just world champion. No just world champion. No just world champion. Undisputed world champion. You know, here's a man, arguably the greatest cruiserweight of all time. In an already extremely exciting heavyweight division, things just got a whole lot more interesting. Gonna make too much difference, I don't think. And he pins him back in the corner again, and he throws back that right hand there with a spoon, but Usyk steps off to his left. Usyk made his introduction to the heavyweight division by dismantling Chaz Witherspoon in a seven round boxing clinic. So the referee declares this fight over before taking on a 260 pound pressure fighting powerhouse in Derek Chisora, his first true heavyweight test. Well, you're so up for this one, man. Chisora troubled Usyk in the early rounds with his physicality and relentless aggression, but the Ukrainian prevailed and boxed his way to a comfortable unanimous decision. Oh, good action here in the seventh and Usyk opening up. And now he's backing Chisora up. You know, you, this, it's real testing heavyweight, you know? Uh, just sort of big guy, hard guy. Even though Usyk achieved a decisive victory, some were still doubting his ability to compete against top-level heavyweight opponents. Has it answered questions satisfactorily for me to say Usyk belongs in there with Tyson Fury or with Anthony Joshua or even with someone like Deontay Wilder? You know, I'm not so sure it does. I'm really not. I, I would not be comfortable putting Alexander Usyk in there with a top tier heavyweight based on that performance. It was one year later when Usyk was finally given the opportunity to show the boxing world just how good he really is against unified champion Anthony Joshua, who at the time had arguably the deepest and most impressive resume at heavyweight, with numerous wins against high-ranked opponents. It doesn't really get much bigger than this, to be honest. This is the fight of the year. We're in for a night I believe we will never ever forget.
Joshua entered as the major favourite, with a 3 inch height and 20 pound weight advantage. However, his physical attributes meant almost nothing, as we watched Usyk comfortably outwork, outbox and outclass him over two separate fights, to claim his rightful place at the top of the division. He's just too good, you know, he's too good and there's no shame in it, it's why this guy's pound for pound number one and watching from the shadows. One man was not impressed. I don't rate Husek at all, to be honest. He's a pumped up middleweight, and all of a sudden people think he's some legendary heavyweight champion. The way I see it is, if I can't beat Husek, never was any good, no right to call myself the greatest of all times, and was always there's the, there's the pressure cooker for you. That's how confident I am of beating this man. No problem. He's without a doubt one of the greatest heavyweight boxers ever. Six foot nine, 277 pounds, and lightning fast. For a guy that big, he moves so well. In possession of the WBC belt while being the lineal heavyweight champion, Fury has consistently shown that his rare combination of size, skill, speed and mobility makes him an incredibly difficult opponent to beat. I don't think any of them can beat me. Not on my worst night you can't beat me because I can pull it out of the bag every single time like I've done all my life. I am the only single person from this country of, of the longest time that can deliver year in year out. I think like in any sport as well I keep delivering. It's been eight years since Fury first became champion, when he ended Vladimir Klitschko's decade-long dominance and tarnished his air of invincibility. He's done it! There is a new era in heavyweight boxing! The Gypsy King has since remained undefeated, as he looks to establish a unification bout with yet another Ukrainian. I'm looking to fight Usyk, Joshua's nemesis. The man who's got AJ's kryptonite. The man who made him cry after the fight like a little girl. I'm 18 stone. So? I'm 20 stone. I'll beat him. I'll take that little sausage out. He ain't got no kryptonite to me. Ball to me, little And I'm gonna make him. I'm gonna make him dance. We'll see what, he, what how good he is. Both fighters would enter the bout unbeaten, with Fury being two years younger and possessing a substantial height and weight advantage over Usyk. It's a 50-50 fight. Usyk is a smaller guy, but he has good feet. By him having good feet, when it's time for Fury to tie him up, he'll be able to use his feet. And he always finds a way to win. But Tyson has shown repetitiously over time that when he's a bigger man, he knows how to wear a guy down. So we'll see. Fury will be facing the fastest, slickest, most skilled, most intelligent and the most resilient opponent he's ever fought. But is the Gypsy King just too big? We all know how skillful Usyk is. We all saw the boxing display he put on against uh, Anthony Joshua. I know that Tyson Fury is not going to stand there and allow Usyk to dictate the terms of the fight like Anthony Joshua did. I think we'll see a Tyson being far more aggressive, taking the fight to him, exhausting the little man. But what a, what a fighter Usyk is, man. He's just an absolute magician. <laughs> but Fury's too big. On the other hand, Usyk will be taking on a giant that moves like a light heavyweight, with an exceptional skill set of his own, and whose mental toughness and powers of recovery are second to none. Alexander Usyk um, is an established fighter, uh, an unorthodox fighter, but so is Tyson Fury. Usyk may be smoother and cuter than, than Fury, but Fury has the size, has the unorthodox style, uh, the self-belief and the confidence and the pedigree to do it. What sort of chance do you give him against Tyson Fury? A very big one because he's got ability to win and find a way to win. He's like an encyclopedia of tricks. He's got constantly can just adapt and, and bring something new and I think you know he will prepare himself for someone leaning on him and probably do wrestling days. With the way that Usyk always trains he thinks outside the box and I think that's going to allow him to, to, to bring something new to the table. With all the belts and each man's legacy at stake, only time will tell who reigns victorious as we eagerly await one of the most intriguing
exciting heavyweight matchups in history between two of the greatest of this generation. And how does Tyson Fury deal with Alexander Rusi? Beat him up like a Tinchazora tonight, batter him. But he's not as tough, he won't hold them punches. He's only a small man. But I'll do to Usek what Joe Joyce will do to Usek, run him over like a juggernaut. I sure. think we already agreed with him to fight and now he's running and telling, I don't want to fight him. Oh, you think he's scared of you? Do you think he's scared of you? I don't know. I know that. <laughs>